This video is going to provide a brief intro to Q&A Maker's new multi-turn feature. So before, Q&A Maker really only had the ability to do more informational or chit-chat type of responses, and they're effectively one-off question-answer response types of conversation, but that'll change with the recent introduction of multi-turn. So in multi-turn, the experience with your Q&A Maker KB is much more fluid and significantly more natural. So let's see how. Multi-turn relies on follow-up prompts that are sent with an answer when asked a question. These prompts aren't just helpful, they actually pull the user along uh, your line of thinking or in a direction that most users have shown to go that you have pre-programmed ahead of time. That means the user has to think less about what to do next, gets more information naturally, and has a more positive experience because the bot's guaranteed to do something useful and positive with a prompt because you designed it to be so. So to visualize what I mean with multi-turn conversation, let's take an example chatbot meant to be used as a, on a restaurant's website. So the restaurant has multiple locations, separate menus for different times of day, and location-specific operating hours. Now without multi-turn, you'd be stuck with having to explicitly ask, where is the lunch menu for the Miami location? Or, I need direction to the New York restaurant. And if you didn't phrase it correctly, or specifically enough, you likely won't get the response that you want. So without multi-turn, you couldn't clarify the user's request. You'd be stuck with a very long response answering the question for all possible permutations, which could become an absolute nightmare. But uh, let's do one that's more general. Let's say, what are your operating hours? So the question above actually represents numerous questions. The one seen here is the top level question. Select the question that you meant to ask and you'll get more information about your query. So let's say that we were talking specifically about Miami. And now it's bringing us further prompts along the way because whether or not you are looking for hours on weekdays or weekends is an important differentiator. So let's say we're looking for weekday hours. So Miami is open from 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. each weekday. And you'll see that we're bringing the user along the way and providing them questions that typical other users have been asking. So we kind of pre-program a nice little map for them to get to the answers that they want. So let's say in this case that the user wants to grab directions and you have a link where we linked right through a map service. In this case, showing it's from Boston, so it's a, it's a slight ride. And then at the bottom, you see we also have connected here to ask if you'd like to see the menu. So let's see the menu, but there's not just one menu, there's multiple menus. So we're interconnecting a whole bunch of different questions here with a bunch of different prompts. Some of these are location specific, uh, and that's important because you can actually keep context as you're going along through the experience. So let's just say I want to see the lunch menu and let me grab the link to that and that brings up the website for the restaurant. So let's say that I'm all done here. I can actually say thanks to my bot. And you can see here the bot is happy to help. And this is another Q&A maker response that basically gives you the opportunity to go reserve a table. It's a nice call to action at the end of the experience. So in the background, when we look at the actual questions, the first question, which is one of your operating hours, we actually had to have a number of different questions, one for each location, and actually below that, one for weekday hours and one for weekend hours. There's actually more than 10 questions that are involved in this, but once they're lined up together, you can actually see how they get there. So if you were to ask about the hours in Miami and you were smart enough to use the term Miami in your question, you will still get that uh, response. If you were to ask about weekday hours uh, or Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday hours, you'll see in Miami, weekday, Miami open on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Any of those would pop up with the Miami answer for uh, the weekday hours. So that provides you a direct access um, opportunity if you are asking those questions very specifically, but using the Q&A Maker multi-turn, the person that doesn't get that specific, which generally speaking, most users are not going to be that specific, you can bring them along the ride to get to the ultimate answer that they wanted to start with. Now it can be really difficult to keep all of these connections in mind. So Q&A Maker has provided you the ability here to see the show context view. And this is effectively a tree of questioning that would bring you down along the way. You can click on any one of these, these links here and it'll bring you directly to that question so you can make those um, changes or uh, see exactly how things relate. But these are effectively conversation trees. So you would start here at what are your hours? If somebody selects New York City, they'll get the option for weekday hours or weekend hours. Would they like directions? Would they like to see the menu? Would it, they prefer the lunch dinner or Sunday brunch menu? And on and on and on. So that is a brief overview of the Q&A Maker 
multi-turn feature, which we have fully integrated into the AdBot experience. So if you look at your bot details page here, uh, you can bring this up. It is automatically available for AdBot out of the box, ready to go within AdBot Enterprise or AdBot Web SMS or Alexa.